Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey readings. And let's begin. Let's see what messages come through today. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. My readings are timeless. So if this doesn't resonate for you, um, maybe have a look at one of my other readings. If there's a title that stands out for you, there might be a message there for you. Divine Masculine in this reading, um, it shows that everything that he is working hard towards, like goals, dreams, uh, things that he wants to really succeed in, it's, he is feeling a lot of, um, it's like a lot of not only disappointment, but things are not working out the way he planned. And I see here that it's like dragging his feet, trying to get things done, trying to get things moving, trying to get things to work out. But in this reading, it's showing that Maskin's very tired. Um, this cycle has been really drawn out, like really pulled out like to the max. Uh, I see here Maskin is, is really exhausted in this reading. He's tired of things not working out the way he planned. Oh my gosh, Angel, when did you fall over? Oh, this is my wish, Angel, for those who are new. See, make a wish. She has a star in her hand. Oh, why did you fall down? <laughs> Put her back in the chair. There you go. Hmm, when did that happen? I was looking at her earlier and she was sitting in the chair. <laughs> So it looks like Divine Mask in this reading is really, really sad about putting in so much um, work, effort, and he feels like things are in vain. Um, it shows here there's a number of things that did not work out in this Mask life. Uh, I see here that the cycle within the cycle, there's... The cycle within the cycle, there is, um, there's like heaviness, sadness, and just a long, a long journey. It feels like this masculine thinks like things are not going to get better. And when are things going to stop the way I feel like the road that this divine masculine was heading towards, it just felt like a very long journey. and. Maskin's like, I think I need to make a decision here about making some sort of change that will bring me a different outcome. And I see here that he's thinking about what to do to transform his life because wherever he's at, it's not working. And it's like he is overlooking, um, overlooking some important things that he needs to know about this transformation but at the same time he is he is um, ready to make that change but it shows here that something this masculine is not quite getting yet it's not really figuring out why things have been going on the way they are and I feel like because this masculine hasn't completely awakened yet this masculine's uh, remaining strong uh, he doesn't have any 
looks like he doesn't have any more patience to try to make things work. It's just like things are delayed. Things are taking time. It's like maybe I should just change everything up. And I feel like it's not just in relationships. I feel like just change the overall scene. Like I want to make a move. I want to start a new job. I want to um, live in a new place. Like everything. I feel like he wants to completely make over his life. And it shows here that he's tired of where he's at. He's tired of the life that he's been living and he really wants to start something different, something new. Shows here that this Divine Masculine has not really... When it comes to Divine Feminine, he has feelings for Divine Feminine. I see the, the connection is very strong here. But... Consciously, this masculine hasn't, he's not seeing things for what they are yet. And it shows here that this masculine is still in that kind of like playful energy to see where things go. But at the same time, he wants things to change. But he's not willing to let go of that, that playful energy that I feel like that got him into that situation in the first place. It's like playful meaning not taking things seriously as he should have or should. But he wants to change. He wants to ch change his life. And I see here that in order to make a change, a big change, a transformation in this masculine's life, he really needs to go within and figure things out. Wisdom is deeply hidden within, hidden within things that he, he was longing for, but he went into the wrong direction because of that lack of seeing what was important and what was not. So it shows here the wisdom is there. It's just like he needs to tap into it. He has the strength to make the transformation I see here. And the wisdom is there. It's like once that light shines through, it will really shine through. That's what it's showing here. It's just like taking the first step. There's supposed to be a close of an old cycle. Anything that is connected to any sort of like habits. Um, I feel like bad habits. Um, being attached. Having strong attachment to things that are not good. Um, is showing here that certain attachments interfered in this divine masculine's progression. And not only progressing in life. But spiritually progressing. And... In order to have balance within self, so balance of divine masculine, divine feminine energy within, he would need to put in the work. He would need to go within and have that tap into that inner wisdom that will help him restore the balance that was kind of like put off, like he was put off track. So to restore that balance within, he needs to tap into that, that wisdom, that inner knowing that will help him on his spiritual growth. Transformation, complete transformation, again, is showing that it, it has not taken place for this masculine here in this reading. But he has that, that, um, longing to make a change. He has that that desire to make some sort of shift in his life that will bring about different opportunities and bring about different positive results rather than loss or or I feel like failures as well because failures are so important because 
you learn, right? You learn from failures. It helps you to grow. It helps you to learn more about yourself. It helps you learn about uh, making better choices. But this divine masculine looks like he, that because he he didn't tap into that inner knowing that that wisdom that he needs to really really learn the lesson that he need to learn in some sort of loss or failure. So it just continued. It's like it's like a cycle within a cycle. So it continued again and again and again to the point where this masculine is like, why am I experiencing things back to back to back? And not seeing any kind of results for the, the time and energy that I'm putting into this. Another thing I see here is that This masculine was really stuck in, in thoughts about some sort of relationship that did not work out. And not only that one, but things that didn't work out in past relationships as well. It's like a domino effect. It's like the next one was worse than the previous one. But it's showing here that Divine Masculine realized that he is quite lucky to to have overcome certain situations. He feels very lucky here, and that's because there's a divine protection over this masculine. Things could have been much worse when it came to heartbreak. Again, it shows here, masculine feels he's very lucky um, whoever this masculine is, he feels he's very lucky that he got to know certain things before it ended. And he's kind of glad that certain information didn't get out. I feel like there's some sort of information that's quite embarrassing. And he doesn't want family members or friends to know about it. And this thing, whatever this is, remains hidden. It's like I'm not going to say a word about what took place because it's too embarrassing. And I feel like even if others knew, it's not going to really make a difference. But it's just that this masculine is embarrassed by whatever it is. Because I feel whatever this thing is, it's not going to really affect his future relationships. It's just that something happened that really, I feel like, makes this divine masculine feel feel like sad for being wrong and he's just embarrassed by the outcome of it and some sort of information that has to do with the end of that relationship so the most recent one the most recent cycle here um with divine feminine it shows divine feminine is very strong very focused Focus on self-love. Focus on self. And it shows that Divine Feminine is living a very, um, very calm. And um, I feel like this Feminine has a lot of gratitude. With the people that are currently in di this Divine Feminine's life, Divine Feminine is feeling very blessed at this time. Um, it looks like good support system, family, friends. Uh, it looks like that this Divine Feminine has healed a lot. She's very strong and she's very wise. I see wisdom here, um, being able to um, connect with the Divine as well. Very strong intuition. And when it comes to their counterpart, Divine Masculine, I feel like this Divine Feminine is very patient it shows that Divine Feminine is keeping kind of like not really um, not really trying to find out things about Masculine, but kind of like uh, once in a while just seeing how Masculine is doing. But I feel like they are not really directly communicating with Masculine. It's just like to see how, how things are, just to, just out of like... Um, just out of concern, like, I hope he's doing well, that sort of thing. 
I feel it's for Divine Feminine's peace of mind. It's just that um, I feel this Divine Feminine is very um, loving and very nurturing. And she just wants to make sure that Masculine is doing okay. As long as Divine Masculine's fine, I'm good. That kind of thing. So this is the reading for today. If you like this reading, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a thumbs up. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.